we'll begin this demonstration in the SDDC Manager dashboard. If we look at our workload domains, we already have a management domain made up of four nodes, and of course our workload domain. This is where we're going to deploy our NSXT Edge. So to deploy that, it's very easy. Just from the actions, you sele select Add Edge Cluster, and then you just go through all the prerequisites, making sure that you have the TEPs set up and configured and all the other requirements needed for NSXT Edge. Once you're happy with those, you select them all, and then we're dropped into this Add Edge Cluster UI. So we give it the Edge Cluster name, MTU size. Uh, the ASN will be used in the case of BGP. If you're going to do BGP routing, you need to give the T0 and T1 logical router their names. And then you can de decide on the cluster profile. Now I typically go with the default, but you could also select the custom, and you can see the different values that you can fill in there. Then get to the password for all of the different objects that you're going to create. There is a requirement of having at least 12 characters in the password name, and that's just to highlight that for you there. With that uh, general info set up, we're now into the use case. Now we are going to do workload management, which is vSphere with Kubernetes, but you can also do customized deployments as well. Now with the workload management, the form factor is large and the edges are active active. And you might also see there that we're going to do static routing. Now we just fill in all the different information for the edge node. You can see that going on there, uh, the various TEP information. Uh, you can see the format there as well. You need to provide CIDR format. And you do have to make sure that the VLAN that you choose is routable back to your host TEP. And they have to be on separate VLANs as well. So there's my cluster selected there, and then these are my uplinks for the edge, how they're going to communicate to the outside world, and you do need two separate VLANs there as well. So we add the first node, and then we have to go and add information about the second node. Fortunately, we can speed this up a bit as well here in this demonstration. But again, you need to provide unique information and just ensure that the VLAN that you use for your edge taps is a separate VLAN to what is used for your host taps, but they must be routable. And so there's our uh, second edge node almost populated now. As you can see it like so. We add that, and now we can see that we have our two edges added. Go on to our summary screen, just make sure that everything that we have provided is indeed accurate. And that we're happy with it and then we go through the validation testing just to make sure that everything is good once we're happy with that and everything has succeeded we can go ahead with finish and that will start the deployment of our nsxt edge and through stdc manager in the tasks view we can see everything that's going on with that deployment and we can monitor it and uh, we can actually do a full screen of all the tasks and see what state we are in so that completes the demonstration.